on the one hand, Neck and Neck is a pretty basic cartoon that's relatively interesting but nothing amazing. On the other hand, how amazing it is when there's just this one person who reveals that this forever lost clip is actually in existence. The story behind Neck and Neck, for me, is more interesting than the short itself. But the short was originally released in 1928. Uh, it was directed by Walt Disney, distributed at the time by uh, Universal. And this is, of course, an Oswald the Lucky Rabbit short. And in this short, Oswald is um, taking his female friend, um, Sadie, out for a ride. And things start off fairly pleasant. But then the next thing he knows, he's in a chase with a police car. And I will be honest, when watching this, it wasn't clear to me that it was a police car. I, I did have to kind of Google this and find out more about this short because the copy that I watched on YouTube, thank you to the person who uploaded it to make that possible, um, the copy is very grainy and very low resolution, um, which is completely understandable, of course. But you still kind of get the gist of what's going on. And one of my favourite things that Disney, by which I mean, or by whom I mean Walt Disney, did at the time um, are tracks and when the cars are coming towards the screen or the trains are coming towards the screen or whatever it is and the way the tracks weave in and out I always find that so pleasing to watch and even given the low quality of this short the low visual quality you still get that sense and it's still a lot of fun with that I really enjoyed that aspect of it it isn't the full thing apparently Long story short, this went missing. It was one of the cartoons that was believed to be lost forever. And the um, in, I think, 2018, uh, an anime researcher called Yasushi Watanabe, I apologise if I'm mispronouncing that, uh, he's an anime historian, and um, it transpired that quite a long time before that, he'd actually purchased this two-minute short and it ended up being this one. There was also an additional 30 seconds um, and I believe a Tokyo Film Archive. So while we have an abridged version here, there are elements of the cartoon elsewhere. But the fact that just this one person had this one copy and if he had, you know, sadly passed away or just wasn't aware that this cartoon was actually otherwise missing, we may never have got to see this in, you know, the 21st century. And I just think that that's so incredible. And there are so many other, uh, unfortunately, so many other lost Disney cartoons from around this time. And it just makes you think there is somebody out there. There will there will be somebody out there, either somebody who, who had a copy at the time or somebody who maybe has their grandparents or great grandparents possessions in an attic somewhere. And there will be a copy of them somewhere. So I really thoroughly love the backstory for this one. And I just think it's so sweet that all of a sudden this came back into existence. And I love that. I think that's so beautiful. So if you have your grandparents or great grandparents possessions in an attic, possession, oh, that sentence, I'm getting overexcited, particularly if they worked in animation at some point, maybe go and dig and see if they have some Disney things. Because I, I truly believe that there, there will be copies of everything else out there. Most things. Of course, there are times when there was only ever one copy, the real burnt, and that was it. But for the most part, there will be copies. There will be copies out there. But Neck and Neck, as an animation, is not bad. The concept's pretty basic, um, but it works really well. I'd like to see the full unabridged copy, if ever it, it does surface. But for now, I'm happy to have seen this version. Very, I guess very fortunate to have seen this version because maybe we never would have had that chance. And I'd like to find the rest. It'd be great if we could find the rest. But definitely check out Neck and Neck because you can. Because it is now there. Definitely check it out. It's, um, it, it's a wonderful thing because of the history of it. It makes it just that little bit more awesome.